Today I'm going to cover the amplitude adjuster for my MDF Rose Engine lathe. An amplitude adjuster is used to change the amplitude of motion that gets imparted by a rosette. A lot of what I'm going to talk about in these videos is on the Ornamental Turning Book of Knowledge website and a link to that site is in the comments. For this video I'll be demonstrating the amplitude adjuster using a Sign24 rosette. The amplitude I'm talking about here is the amount the headstock spindle, that's this piece here just in case you haven't remembered, moves laterally as it rotates. Now that doesn't fit the strict definition you probably learned in physics, i.e. half the wave height, but it is the definition I use as it's easier to measure. And the way I measure the amplitude is by using this dial indicator. I will measure the amplitude at the spindle, as you should see right here, with nothing attached. As you can see, this rosette has an amplitude of around 70 thousandths of an inch. So, you're probably asking the question of why would I ever want to adjust this amplitude? Well, the reason you'd want to do so is if the rosette's amplitude is not what you want for the piece you're making. For example, an, an amplitude of 70 thousandths might be fine for a bowl, but that would be mountainous if you were making a pin. Really, at the end of the day, it depends on what the artist's preference is. There are two types of amplitude adjusters. What you see here is a vertical one. There's also a horizontal one, but that doesn't fit really well on the MDF lathe. There's just not enough room for fitting one of those onto here. Though I am going to try to do that later. So what you see here is the black piece here really is what is the amplitude adjuster. It mounts to the headstock at a pivot point here. And there's a rosette touch, which is the other end of this bolt, which is rubbing up against the side of the rosette. The amplitude adjuster touch, which is right here, you see the black piece. This is where you set this uh, amount of amplitude. So where you see it here is the highest. We can lower this. And that would give us a far less amplitude from what we originally had. There are formulas for how you can apply this. And at the end of the day, this is a set of levers that are linked. But my experience has been get your dial indicator out, set it where you think it ought to be, and then measure how much amplitude you're getting at the, at the result, you know, back at the, at the business end of this machine. We're now back at the business end of the lathe, and to remind you, before we installed the amplitude adjuster, this rosette's amplitude was around 70 thousandths of an inch. I've set it up to be 50% of that, and rotated the bezel so that you can see it starts at zero at the top of the rosette's peak and uh, it should be around 35 thousandths if I did everything right. Let's see what happens. Well there you go. That's right where we wanted it to be. So as the dial indicator re shows we've got about 35 thousandths of movement so we're at 50 percent. So let's try 10 percent now. So we're set up for 10 percent there and you can see the movement is actually a little bit less than 10 so let me adjust it up and there we go right around seven or eight thousandths so we're a good 10 percent and you can see that's barely moving both rotationally and laterally so that's where we wanted it to be I've installed the paper chuck now, so let's see the effect of these two different amplitudes. The first one we're going to do is 25 thousandths. All right, let's set it up for a much higher amplitude now.
We're running around 70 thousandths, so let's see what this looks like. Well, there you have it. Two different amplitudes demonstrated on a paper chuck. So I hope you found that what I've demonstrated here with an amplitude adjuster shows how you can extend the capabilities of a rosette and can make your opportunities much greater as an artist. So if you're interested in more information, check out the webpage in the link. And thank you for watching. I hope you found this worth your time.